Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. Today I want to take you through my updated skincare routine. It's been a while since I've done a full-on step-by-step showing you guys exactly what I'm using, why I like certain things, how I apply them. In case this might be the first video that you're watching of mine or my first um, skincare related video, let me just tell you a little bit about my skin really quick. I have a very acne prone type of skin. It's pretty sensitive as well. It's oily in the T-zone. It's a little bit dry here around my mouth. So I would say I have quite finicky type of skin. I literally have to just baby my skin and take so much care of it. I've gone through some pretty bad phases of acne in my life, so I also have a little bit of scarring that I'm always trying to just reduce and to brighten. So a lot of these products that I use are more gentle on the skin, but they're still really effective because I really want to work on clearing up my pores, on brightening, just keeping it clear from future acne to, you know, build up. I'm going to go through these products in the way that I use them in my routine. So if it was nighttime, I would be removing my makeup that's the first thing that I do and I like to do a double cleanse so I will first remove my makeup and then I'll go in with a cleanser to really deep clean my pores so for makeup remover there are two different methods that I like the first is to use a micellar cleansing water this one is from Caudalie it's got grape water inside and chamomile and this is really good for more sensitive skin types Caudalie is pretty good with their formulations and with their ingredients they don't use a lot of harsh chemicals which I really love and my skin really loves. So I take this on some cotton wool and I will just gently wipe my skin. I've been using this product for a very long time. I've talked about it in a few different videos and I keep going back to it because it's just such a staple for me. It's not drying on the skin. In fact, it's almost quite moisturizing. So if I take my makeup off but I'm not fully ready to do my whole skincare routine yet, you know, if I've gotten home and I just want to get my makeup off my skin but I still want to fix some things before I get in the shower and do the rest of my routine, then I can have this on for a while and my skin doesn't feel tight or like I need to do something to it, you know? And then, you guys, if you've seen any of my skincare videos since I've been on YouTube, I love this eye makeup remover. This is from Earth Science. It's their chamomile and green tea eye makeup remover. It is a gel, which I really love because it's so soft around your eyes. So how I use this is I first wet my face with just water. I put a little bit of this on my fingertips. I close my eyes and I will just gently wash away the mascara and any concealer underneath. It gets rid of everything. There's absolutely no residue and it works amazing. It's a really clean formula as well. I get this from Whole Foods. Really basic, but it works. The other way that I love to remove makeup is with a cleansing balm. This one is from Drunk Elephant. It's the Sly Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. And this is a delicious, delicious product right here. Not to eat, but the feeling on your skin is amazing. So butter cleansers are kind of a new thing on the market, but they work really well, especially for drier skin types, even sensitive skin types, combination, or even just oily. I would pretty much recommend a balm cleanser to anyone. I feel like they just have so many benefits and they just feel so good on the skin. It's very moisturizing. It feels like really hydrating and just nourishing as you are cleansing your skin. And of course, with all of the Drunk Elephant products, they're really conscious of the ingredients that they're using, which I really love. So I think this is really nice for cleansing, of course, but I also really like to use it for facial massage. You can either do facial massage just using your fingertips, which I love to do, or you can use something like a Foreo, which I'm going to talk about in a sec, but this also has a massage function on the back, so you can just slide this over your skin using a balm cleanser like this, and it works really well for that as well. Plus, you're cleaning your skin and nourishing it at the same time. So this is a really great just kind of like multi-usage product that I reach for often. So once my face is free from any makeup, I will then go in and cleanse my skin. So this is where the double cleansing comes in. Another holy grail product for me is this cleanser by Kate Somerville. This is the Eradicate Daily Foaming Cleanser. This has 3% sulfur in it, which is a really great acne treatment. Along with my cleanser, I like to use a cleansing tool like this. This is the Foreo Luna 3. This is the newest edition in the Foreo Luna series and I was actually using this little guy before so this is the Luna 2 mini and I've been using this since 
the beginning of the year approximately and this really allowed my skin to just get super super clean especially after a long day of wearing makeup and sunscreen and you just get sweaty and oily throughout the day so I just loved that deep clean feeling and then this edition was launched and this is like the souped up version of the Luna 2. So this is actually more of a two-in-one. It's both a cleansing tool but also a facial massager. So the facial massage is on this side and then the cleansing is on this side and this is so soft you guys and the bristles on the Luna 3 are about 30% longer than on the Luna 2 so you're really getting a lot more of a softer and deeper cleanse so how I like to use this is to first wet my face I make sure that I don't have any makeup on my skin and then I will apply the cleanser directly onto the Foreo I turn it on there is a button over here that you press and then I will gently go in circular motions all over my skin to deeply deeply cleanse my pores and the bristles are super super soft you guys it's kind of mind-blowing how good this feels on your skin and how it makes your skin feel really really smooth even though you're not using a physical exfoliator this device works with t-sonic technology so it gets the blood going it really sends a lot of oxygen to your skin cells and i believe it pulses around like 8,000 times per minute which is wild cleansing my skin and just cleansing my body in general like after a long day it's just something that i always look forward to every single night and this is such a great addition to that plus this is super hygienic which I think is one of the reasons I gravitate towards this versus other cleansing brushes and tools you never have to buy a replacement brush head for this it stays completely hygienic and safe to use you just have to make sure that you wash it with some soap and water after you're done plus one charge of this lasts for up to 650 uses which is crazy but it's so great for traveling and just if you're just busy and on the go you don't have to think about charging this thing you know every day or every week this one has Bluetooth connectivity so there is an app that you can download and you can either do a cleansing function with this it guides you through a one-minute cleanse so you can follow exactly step by step to make sure that you're spending enough time on each part of your face so you could do that but what I really love is the massage function you guys know I love me some facial massage so you click this little part here that says go to massage treatment and you have a treatment for your eyes you have one for your neck one for contour and one for your mouth and your lip area these treatments are also guided so you just press start the treatment and then you use this backside I love that it's a two-in-one and it just has so many benefits I would highly highly recommend checking it out and just so you guys know this Luna 3 was sent to me but this one I've had for a long time and I bought this one myself so I would definitely recommend this so once my skin is nice and cleansed I like to go in with a toner so toners I like to have a lot of options I like either um, spray toners or I like a toner like this that you just put on a cotton pad and then you wipe your skin I'll do a little insert here of a few different toners both spray ones and just like normal ones that I like to use before this video if I could just recommend one this one by Ren is really good it's their ready steady glow daily AHA tonic so this has a little bit of an exfoliating acid within the toner which makes it really good for again just clearing out the pores it's got willow bark in here which is a more natural version of a salicylic acid or I believe it's where the salicylic acid originally comes from so you're getting more of like the source ingredient it's also got lactic acid in here and azelaic acid which is really good for brightening the skin tone plus with Ren products you're getting a really clean formula as well they don't contain parabens sulfates detergents mineral oils fragrances and all of that stuff the next thing that I love is a good serum this is one that I've also mentioned before so I'm not going to talk too much about it because you guys have probably heard me talking about this a lot this is the C firma day serum from drunk elephant this is I would say one of the best vitamin C serums I have ever tried and I have repurchased this I think two or three times now vitamin C is just one of those great kind of like powerhouse ingredients that I think everyone should have in their skincare routine it's really great for brightening the skin for giving the skin a nice glow for lightening up acne scars and um, hyperpigmentation and just really promoting a nice even skin tone so vitamin C is like a whole 
holy holy grail product for me and for nighttime I actually use um, different serums for the morning and also for the night so for nighttime I really like um, Differin which is a retinol I get this by prescription at my dermatologist but if you live in the US you can actually get this now over the counter in different drugstores in the skincare industry there are a lot of ingredients that can come up and that can be quite trendy and a lot of people like them but retinol is one of those like really great staple tried and tested ingredients that has a lot of research behind it. It's not only good for helping to prevent like fine lines and wrinkles and keeping the skin nice and youthful, but it's also amazing if you do suffer with acne. So how retinol works is that it goes into your skin and it helps your skin cells to turn over faster. So you're getting more new fresh skin cells on the surface of your skin. After I've done my serums, I love a good moisturizer. My absolute favorite for the last, I would say like 10 months, or so has been this one from Drunk Elephant. This is their Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. It says it's a cream, but it's really more like a gel type of consistency. I think the consistency of this is what attracts me the most to this moisturizer because it really does lock in hydration, but it feels so lightweight and airy and just kind of like it just graces the skin without it feeling too heavy. Again, the ingredients in here are incredible. It doesn't have any of the irritating ingredients that can be problematic for more acne prone or sensitive skins. I use this both day and night. I think it's a great daytime moisturizer. It works really well under makeup. It just makes the makeup go on so well. Then at night, I like to add in a few drops of this uh, rosehip seed oil. This is 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil from The Ordinary, so it's nice and affordable. Rosehip seed oil is really great if you do, again, have more acne-prone sensitive skin. I believe it's really rich in linoleic acid, and that's something that a lot of acne-prone people can actually be quite low in. And I really just pack on the moisture before I go to bed, and I wanna get my skin feeling like nice and juicy before I go to bed so that when I wake up, my skin is really nice and hydrated. And then for daytime, I, of course, follow that up with a good SPF. So these are the two that I'm rotating between at the moment. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, I do like to have options when it comes to skincare because some days my skin is feeling a little bit drier, sometimes it's more oily. You know, if it's a really, really hot day, then I will take it a little bit back on the level of moisture. So I do think it's important to kind of tailor your skincare on how your skin is feeling that day. So these are the two that I really like. This first one is from Ren. This is their Clean Screen Mineral SPF 30. This has a more mattifying finish on the skin, which I think is great now for the summertime if you're feeling really hot during the day and you're just producing your own natural oils. You don't necessarily need products that are too heavy and too shiny on the skin. And the formulation on this is really gentle. It's a physical based SPF, which is so much better for people who have more sensitive acne prone skin compared to a chemical sunscreen. So that's something that's a huge, huge tip to look out for and on days I want a little bit more moisture and a little bit more coverage I would say actually this is another really great physical based sunscreen from Bare Minerals it's called their complexion rescue defense and it says it's a radiant tint protective moisturizer so this has a little bit of like a BB cream type of feeling I wouldn't even say the coverage is like a light coverage but it kind of just gives your skin a little bit of like a golden glow lit from within type of feeling so this has a little bit more of that nice kind of like makeup primer feeling i believe this also has an ingredient in here which allows it to be protective against blue light the electronic light that we can get from computers and phone screens so this has something in there which helps to block that out as well and the last thing i want to mention is a good face mask i love to again just really clean out my pores. You guys probably know that I love the Peter Thomas Roth um, Sulfur Acne Treatment Mask. That one is amazing. Um, the one from Indie Lee is also really good. But this is a more recent 
discovery. I actually picked this up because I saw it on Sona Gasparian's um, one of her skincare videos. I think it was a while ago, but it's kind of stayed in my mind. She says that she loves this and it's like her holy grail face mask. And this stuff is really, really good. I've only used it a few times, but I feel like I know that it's going to be a good product. It is a, a purifying clay mask. It works really well for calming the skin and for pulling out impurities and oils. Plus, I've seen that a lot of people actually use this as a spot treatment for overnight. I have not tried that yet, but next time I get a little breakout, I will put it on there and um, see if it helps. But I think it should because the mask in general is really good. So that is my current skincare routine. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and got some good inspirations for different products and tools. I also hope that it just inspired you in general to take care of yourself and to take care of your skin and taking good supplements as well. I recently uploaded a video about all of my favorite supplements. I will have that video linked below in case you haven't seen it. And there I go into more detail on all the supplements that I take, why I take them, how often I take them, how they've helped me with my skin i hope you're all having a beautiful day thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in my next one Mwah. bye guys